Kia ora. For the 91910 standard, you're going to have to predict the tighter amount for an excellence grade. So how do we do this? So let's take our window cleaner and um, we found in our dilution trial that 8 milliliters of our 0.1 mole per liter hydrochloric acid neutralized 1 milliliter of our concentrated window cleaner. So our dilution factor is 1 is to 8. So when we make up our diluted window cleaner solution for the titration, we're going to need 1 eighth. So we take our 250 mils that we use in the volumetric flask, uh, divided by 8, and we uh, work out then that we need 31 mils of concentrated window cleaner, which we then add to this volumetric flask and make up to the mark with deionized water. So we don't have a 31 milliliter pipette. So we can't do this exact amount. We do, however, have a 10 milliliter, a 20 milliliter, or a 25 milliliter pipette. And as said before, doing a 10 and 20 is not a good idea. You bring in more errors. So we're going to use a 25 mil pipette. And we're going to take 25 mils of our concentrated uh, window cleaner and into our volumetric flask, make up to the mark with deionized water. But if we do that, we see that we're using less of the window cleaner than what we needed. And that means our diluted window cleaner is um, at a lower concentration than 0.1. And this has an implication for our titration because it means we're not going to get identical values. So how much uh, of this 0.1 mole per liter of acid will we need to neutralize each aliquot of the diluted base. So here's our diluted base in the conical flask, and there's our acid. And say we now use a 20 milliliter pipette to put into the conical flask. How much acid are we going to need? Now, because our base, our diluted base is less concentrated than 0.1, uh, we can work it out by saying, we use 25 mils of the concentrator base when we should have used 31, so we dilute it, and multiply it by the actual um, aliquot value, which is 20 mils in this case. And that means we should then get a value of 16 milliliters is expected uh, as a tighter value. That's how much HCl we should need. And is this expected? Yes, because... Um, because our base is less concentrated than our uh, than what we expected, we expect to use less of our more concentrated hydrochloric acid solution. So let's now use a um, opposite where we use a concentrated acid like a vinegar solution, and we want to titrate it with 0.1 mol per liter sodium hydroxide. And say in this case we needed 11 milliliters of sodium hydroxide for every one milliliter of vinegar. And uh, so our dilution factor is 1 is to 11. So we take our 250 mils that we want to make up, divide it by 11, and that means we need 22.7 mils of vinegar to add to here and make up to the mark. Now, in this laboratory, we do not have 20 mil pipettes. We only have 25 mil pipettes. So I take my 25 mil pipette and I pipette the 25 mils in here of the concentrated vinegar. However, that means we now use more vinegar than what we actually needed. So it means my diluted acid or diluted vinegar is more concentrated than 0.1, which is going to affect the amount of sodium hydroxide titer we're going to get in, a, in the titration. So uh, when I do the calculation, the amount we use divided by the amount we should have used times the aliquot value. So in this case, in our lab, we didn't have 20 mil prepared, so we used 25 mils. And so we come up with an expected titer value of 27.5 of the sodium hydroxide is needed to neutralize 25 mils of base. And is this expected? Yes, because um, our vinegar uh, is more concentrated than what we expect, what we needed, because we used 25 of the concentrated vinegar instead of 22. So we would expect to use more of the 0.1 sodium hydroxide solution because this is actually more concentrated than 0.1. So we're going to need more volume to neutralize this down here. With practice,